Benjamin Franklin famously said that nothing is certain except death and taxes. I can't help you feel better about taxes, but hospice nurse Derek Flores says there is a way we can all feel a little bit better about how we approach death. It's the subject of his book, Seven Keys to a Peaceful Passing. And Derek, I, I'm so glad you're here. Can you explain to us what inspired you to write this book in the first place? Hospice can be such a mystery to people. They don't know what to expect. Death can be very frightening for people. So I wanted to give them a resource to empower them to make decisions that would ensure a peaceful passing. And you mentioned death, and I feel like in our society, in any society, people have trouble talking about it. And when you don't talk about something, obviously it's, it's going to be even scarier, and people don't understand all their options. I love that as a hospice nurse, you really do a great job of dispelling some of the biggest myths out there. There's so much hope in hospice. Hospice is all about relationships. It's about opportunities to make things right that were wrong during your life. To have that prodigal son experience with somebody coming home to be with a parent who's passing away that they haven't talked to for decades maybe, that's one of the most amazing things about hospice. But it's, but it's also, and this is when the research came out on this, I think it's important to note that it's not a death sentence. A lot of people feel like if they look into hospice, they're giving up. And hospice is so different than that in the sense that it's not a death sentence. And the data would support the theory that in some ways it could be the opposite of that. Explain that to us, will you? You know, so many of our patients are elderly and so many patients, unfortunately, at that age don't have many visitors. So the hospice team can actually be a family that comes in and spends time with somebody who's really been alone for a long time. And it's amazing to see that some people actually graduate from hospice. They end up living much longer lives. It's really amazing. What, what is I believe on average it's 29 days, correct? So, so people actually statistically do live longer if they, they go do. into hospice, which is you, so fascinating. You're right. Sometimes it's a real practical reason because doctors and nurses are working together. They're able to manage symptoms a little differently, make adjustments to medications. But I think it's the human touch between people. Being able to be with somebody else and talk about their life, review their life. And I think also managing pain and giving them dignity and control over their passing. I think that must make such a huge difference. It really does. Pain uh, is something that hospice nurses and doctors working together, they're experts at. So nothing better than having a couple of people focusing on that symptom. When, when we all trained, there was a line between the mind and the body. We now know that there is a seamless transition between the mind and the body. The connection is profound. When you start reading the data where someone chooses to go into hospice, they on average are gonna live 29 days longer than if they didn't. That, that is shocking to all of us, especially us doctors who are taught to, the only thing that treats is prescriptions and treatments but the treatment that, that you all offer to me is just so profound and wonderful and understated. And I, I highly encourage people out there to read Derek's book, to read about it, because the one thing is we are all at some point in our lives going to be faced personally with these types of decisions or with our loved ones. And you can't make a good decision without making an informed decision. And I applaud you because you're helping people do just that. Thank you. We'll have more info on Derek's book on our website.